But we start back across the river in Philadelphia, a place brimming with historic museums, but none more interesting than where we're gonna go next. The Muter Museum, or is it Mutter? Whichever, use your skull, get in there. Philadelphia is home to some of the most iconic museums in the world, and perhaps one of the most unique collections in the city belongs to the Muter Museum. The museum has thousands of items that show the eerie side of what physicians study. And while the museum has been a public attraction for decades, the history dates back to the founding of the College of Physicians of Philadelphia in the 1780s. The College of Physicians, of which the Muter Museum is part of, actually had a small pathological museum collection already. But in 1858, Dr. Thomas Dent Muter, who was a fellow of the College of Physicians, um, unfortunately found himself in poor health, had to retire, and offered us his entire teaching collection. Some of the most famous pieces on display at the museum are a collection of more than 100 human skulls, a plaster cast, and the livers of conjoined twins Chang and Eng Bunker. But that's not all. When you think of the Muter Museum, I think the one of the things you see often is Harry Eastlack, and he is one of our FOP skeletons. Recently, Harry uh, got a casemate in Carol Orzel, and she is another individual that also uh, has FOP, and she, uh, her final wish was to have her skeleton donated to us. In 2019, to commemorate the 1918-1919 global influenza pandemic, the museum opened a special exhibit titled Spit Spreads Death. But just months after the exhibit opened, a new pandemic came to our city. Fortunately or unfortunately, it's, it's very relevant. The exhibit posed some hypothetical questions like, what would you do in a pandemic? But quickly had to change the question to, what are you doing? Fortunately for Anna and the rest of the Mütter Museum staff, they were able to quickly pivot to virtual exhibits, leading to a widely successful YouTube channel. Hi, and welcome to your tour of the Mütter Museum. And Anna put her own spin on the YouTube unboxing trend by unboxing a human heart. All right, guys. Here it is. Here it is. And now, for the first time in more than 200 years, the historical medical library is open to the public on weekends. With the price of admission, folks can see books dating back to the 1200s. I want people to know that even though these books are extraordinarily scholarly in nature. These are of value to everybody, you know, no matter what your profession, no matter what your age. The Mütter Museum is a must visit for anyone interested in medicine or anyone with an appreciation for the always unusual and occasionally gross. We look forward to seeing you. The museum is open every day, 10 o'clock in the morning till five in the afternoon, except Tuesday.